Welcome back again. I'm standing in the city of Vancouver, Washington's urban forest. This is a place called Officer's Row. It's an old army base, and as you can hear from the surrounding sounds, uh, we're right in the heart of downtown Vancouver, so we have planes taking off in the distance, cars going by, uh, a bike path with uh, hikers and joggers and people walking pets. This is a good microcosm of the urban forest, though. It's, it shows the many benefits that we get from trees and urban forests. Generally, those benefits fall into three categories, economic, environmental, and social benefits. On the economic side of the ledger, you can read about Dr. Kathy Wolf's research at the University of Washington. She found out that people are willing to pay more for goods purchased in downtown business districts that have trees versus ones that don't. Another economic aspect of trees in cities is the fact that people who have treed landscapes have a higher resale value of their homes. 7 to 20 percent of the value of a home is tied up in its landscape. On the environmental side, uh, the environmental benefits of trees are of course well known, clean air, clean water, wildlife habitat and so forth. But did you know that trees in cities actually help reduce noise? That's right, you can plant trees as a sound barrier. Perhaps you've seen those around uh, different freeway systems. I could probably use one right behind me at the moment. Uh, we've got an arterial uh, for the city of Vancouver running right behind me here, a nice tree-lined street called Evergreen Boulevard. Not completely forested with evergreens. There's uh, big leaf maple trees lining uh, most of it uh, where I'm standing at least. And then finally on the social uh, side of things, the social benefits of trees are well known from the fact that people are uh, heal faster in hospitals. They use less pain medication if they have a, a site of greenery outside their, ho their hospital window. Uh, another aspect of that would be students actually do better on tests if they have interactions with nature or perhaps the fact that crime rates are lower in neighborhoods that have trees versus ones that don't. So really a wide variety of benefits that we get from trees in cities. Now I'll take a moment to pan off uh, here to go off stage here and pan around so you can take a look at this urban forest landscape. It's a beautiful collection of trees as I said. I'll pan by here. Again, we're at Officer's Row in Vancouver, Washington, and there's the famous Marshall House. Uh, George Marshall was an army officer of uh, much renown from World War II, and he lived in that house at one time. So this is now a restored area full of homes and uh, offices and a uh, place for people to recreate. There's uh, the trail that I mentioned earlier, and uh, this is historic Fort Vancouver. Again, we're in downtown Vancouver, Washington. You're looking across the way there at the city of Portland, those hillsides across the way. And uh, here's a good look at uh, some of the beautiful trees that are found here. Big leaf maple, a ponderosa pine, uh, Douglas fir, and, and uh, some newly planted trees as well. So that's a good glimpse at uh, the benefits and values of trees, and I hope this has given you sort of a big picture look at that particular subject this week.